8Days and XPG just continuously impresses me with their value and today I'm going to show you why. Good afternoon morning and welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese of the 4-piece variety of Walkie Triple XL. And I've gotten the Gamex S70 Blade. It's one of the better priced Gen 4 NVMEs on the Eve Tech store. And I've been wanting to test it because while it's compatible with PS5, as you can see by the big blue sticker on the front over here, it's also the best price versus performance SSD on the market by the looks of things. Comes with a five-year warranty as most of its competitors do. It's got DRAM caching and everything that we want to see in general on an NVMe. And so getting one for testing, I was like, well, this just shot to the top of the queue because I wanted to check it out. It comes with a very cool little included heatsink as well. It's got a pretty good package, uh, all inclusive. Nice little segue into the package is you get the pictured NVMe and then the heatsink on top as well. It's got pretty convincing adhesive. Uh, it's not what I would call easy to remove now that I've put it on, but it does leave it looking really, really nice. It is quite a nice package. But what about the effect on performance? Is that little bit of aluminum enough? Well, as it turns out, pretty much it is. I tested it both with the huge piece of aluminium that you see over here, which is a, a, a considerably more surface area than this, but, but between the two was basically a dead heat. They were trading blows as you go down the list over there. There's nothing really to call it between the two of them. But what about its competitiveness versus like a very strong Gen 3 in VME? Well, it's more of the same, but with a little caveat towards the end sort of thing. The WDSN750, which is our main test bench uh, NVMe, is a very, very good Gen 3. It's pretty much the peak of that technology. And you can see that with the small file handling, especially where there's a lot more to draw, you know, comparatives between them. But as it goes with the Gen 4s, when the file sizes increase, as you can see, the speed more than doubles. So the quoted seven and a half thousand, I think it was for this, and 5,800 or 6,800. So it was 7,400 and 6,800. 6,800 on the right seems to have been a bit of an ambitious quote. I got like a thousand underneath that, but the read speeds, which is what you're going to really benefit from on a day-to-day -day basis, it is very accurate. So we got to 7,100 and 7,400, 7,400 was the sort of quoted maximum. So it's very much in line with that. I love the build quality once again and the way it looks. It is very, very nice, nicely presented and will look good within the system. And the fact that they include a little heatsink that does the job means that if your board doesn't have it, then you're not left up the creek, are you? And it's going to overheat and throttle because I did four gig gigabit tests. So yeah, it was uh, for each of those test that you see it was doing four gigs worth of data transfer so not a little bit i did a, an extreme test as if you were importing you know video or whatever onto the drive then that's what you would experience is probably that consistent 7000 megabytes per second which is yeah staggeringly good so this is i mean all of this for what like one and a half thousand rand for one tv gen 4 with a five-year warranty you can see why I'm enjoying a Data and XPG. I've had nothing but good experiences with their RAM as well. And right now, the 43, 4133 MHz CL19 DDR4 is the best price versus performance RAM that I can see basically throughout South Africa. So I don't know who's in control there or who's doing the pulling the strings, but you guys are killing it. And I thank you so much for letting me test this. Now, whenever I suggest in the bars, guy, I can be like, hey, look, guys, here's a review. Go look at the stats and you can see the exact performance. And the one other thing I wanted to make note of is I went back and looked at the MP600 XT from Corsair, and this actually beat it. But handedly in certain areas, but mostly with a full, with, this happens sometimes where I try and combine two words at the same time. I'm trying to say small and file handling, and it came out as small film. Yes, that's basically what's happening. But where the small file handling is concerned, it's basically a dead heat between the two. So a really like notable brand like Corsair that has a very long history in memory products and we know has been on the peak of those, this is keeping up with it with a lot less heatsink as well. It's not going to be looking quite so ostentatious and beefy inside of your sister. So I've got to give this a solid 10 out of 10. The performance and the price just rocketed right up the list. And um, you'll probably see your boy rocking one of these in the near future because I've got a 512 that I now need to replace. And uh, Gen 4 
yeah, we can maybe just get a little bit of speed because it's going to be used for video editing. So, yeah, my 4K is just a little bit rough. Uh, it's how I get those nice close-ups and stuff. So, yeah, we, we kind of need that. So, this is going to come in handy perhaps in my future as well. Anywho, that is all I have for you on the ADATA XPG Gamex S70 Blade. Very long name, but very long life and good performance by the looks of things. Until next time, if you guys have enjoyed this review, please do hit us up with a like and subscribe. And I will see you on the flip side.